Hey guys, Matt with Schneids here. Today we're gonna do our first look at the new GeoVid Pro. These guys are 10 by 32s. They also make an eight by 32. We're kind of doing a comparison between the old 3200.coms. These are my personal ones, so I have a lot of time behind the glass. And uh, you know, initial impressions are you can see the massive size difference between the two. Glass, optical quality, ranging performance, features, you don't really sacrifice much going to these smaller binoculars. So let's see how they hold up. So first thing obviously we're gonna to touch on is size. As you can see, these guys are really small, really compact. Uh, I use an FHF medium bino harness. With my 3200s right now, you kind of have to wiggle them to get them in and it's not, not super easy to get them in and out. This thing, even with this uh, tripod adapter ring, just slides right in and out. It's so easy. When you're walking around, you can feel the weight difference. These things, I don't know the exact difference, but they are way lighter than the uh, 3200.coms. Um, glass and optical quality. My main concern when I first heard that they were doing these was the 32 millimeter objective going to be or was going to be dimmer than the 42s on the uh, on the 3200s. Um, not surprising, the Leica glass is really good. Um, every bit as bright as the 3200s. The only difference really you're gonna see is that like just the, the last couple minutes of fading light. Um, I took them out last night and was kind of looking back and forth between them. And these were just a hair dimmer. Honestly, not the difference was not even worth mentioning. It, it's really not much. So these are still really good even in low light. Um, you know, they have that Leica glass. Um, the next thing, obviously, are rangefinder binoculars. So the 3200s that I have, they will regularly hit 3,000 to 3,200 yards. Um, even on this rooftop, if you look way out in the distance, there's a hillside way out there. That's about 3,100 yards from where I'm standing on this parking garage behind our store. And the 3200s will hit it almost every single time, even in harsh noon sunlight. Um, these guys don't uh, even claim to have that much ranging performance. Uh, Leica knocked it down to 2,500 yards. Still a really good like amount of range. Um, so for 99% of people out there, they're gonna be super pumped with this uh, range finder. It performs really well. It'll go all the way down to 11 yards if you're archery hunting. Um, so just like a wide gamut, it's gonna be great for you. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the features. And this is where the GeoVid Pro really like ups the ante in the range finding binocular world. Um, it has full applied ballistics on board. It ships with applied ballistics light or ultralight, um, which for most hunting conditions is gonna be fine. You know, it'll take into account uh, your your atmospherics, um, you know, your your bullet and, uh, you know, the velocity and the BC and everything specific to your load and give you a shooting solution. Uh, AB light will do it to about 875 yards. Um, beyond that, you're gonna need to pair it with the Kestrel, which this will do. It has Bluetooth on board. It can pair with the uh, Kestrel, just like last year's uh, binoculars, and give you, uh, you know, extended range uh, shooting, shooting solutions, but you'd need to have that uh, the Kestrel device. Now, there is an option with the new app, you can update these to the Applied Ballistics Elite um, I don't know how it's going to work or how much it's going to cost yet, um, but you'll be able to get shooting solutions up to around 2,500 yards in body without the need to use a caster, which is a huge deal if you if you shoot competitions and stuff. Um, not having to take your caster out and pair and kind of go range look, range look, and all that, um, especially when you're on a clock, it's gonna it's gonna help save you time. And uh, in my experience using any of the applied ballistic stuff that are on board, uh, binoculars or devices, they usually do really well. Um, like the Vortex, the Fury ABs, they tend to be spot on uh, as far as like shooting solutions at distance. Um, like I said, these do have Bluetooth, so you can link it with your phone. Uh, there's an app. Uh, these are, st are still super new. This are one of like five or six in the US. Um, so the app isn't released yet. It's March. The app comes out, I believe, in April 22. So I haven't gotten to mess with the new app and how it works. Um, I have seen some screenshots and it looks to be uh, much more uh, useful and intuitive. If, you, if you've used the old app at all, it leaves a little bit to be desired, especially compared to what others are doing out there. 
and the new app looks to be much improved. Um, so for usability's sake, it, it's gonna be a lot better. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is GPS. So uh, if you're familiar with like the, the SIG, the kilos that just came out, you know, you can range and get a point um, on a map. And from my understanding, you know, again, I haven't been able to use the app to test this functionality out, but from my understanding is, um, whereas those you need cell service for your phone, the new uh, mapping feature on these, you won't need cell service. You can just connect these directly to your phone and pair that way, which will be pretty cool. And the way it works is uh, you can point this thing out there. Like say if there was an elk on that hillside way out behind me, I could point at it. It has a built-in compass. It knows where I'm at through GPS. It knows the direction these are facing. And when you range, it'll tell you the distance. So it knows where you're at, the direction and the distance. And what that does is it computes a point. It'll put that point on a GPS map. So say there was a big bull way the heck across the canyon, you could point, range, know the distance, but it'll also give you a point. So then what you can do with that point is you can hike around and instead of getting lost and wondering, hey, you know, where, where do you see that bull at? Or is it on this hillside or that hillside? No, it'll just tell you the exact location where you saw that thing at. Um, which is huge. You, you won't, you know, wonder where you're at in relation to this animal you just saw anymore, um, especially in like really dense, like wooded areas like we have here in Montana. So that's going to be a huge asset. And then it's not um, specific, from my understanding, to any one map. So it'll work with base maps, uh, like some of the other devices out there, but it'll also work with Garmin and uh, with Google Maps, I think. So that's pretty sweet. You don't have to be limited to one system, really. So what are the cons? You know, it sounds like these things are the, the best thing ever. Um, and honestly, in, in using them, there's only really one con I found so far. Again, I, I haven't really been really able to dive into these yet. We will be doing a longer, more in-depth review uh, of all the features later on when we get some and the, the app is finalized. But um, on this unit, which might be pre-production, um, the only con so far is the brightness. Uh, for some reason, comparing the brightness between these and my 3200s you know they have a brightness scale of one to five and auto on the 3200s and on these it's just one to five there's no auto which is kind of strange but on the full brightness on five on each of these this one's a lot dimmer for some reason than my 3200s and that could be for any number of reasons it could be because of pre-production or something like that um, hopefully Leica improves it but that's that's the only issue really that I've found with these things overall um, they're really really nice they're they're built you know solid like you would expect uh, a Leica product to be the glass is as clear as anything else I've looked through um, I put them up there against you know anything else in the market and uh, honestly I, I, I think I'm gonna be trading in the 3200s for this guy you know I'll, I'll be losing a little bit of range distance but I'll be gaining so many more features and saving weight and space uh, and just have easier uh, usability like just getting in and out of a little bino harness you don't have to have such a big bino harness for those 3200s um, but yeah that's that's our first look at the uh, geovid pro um, you know we'll have it at chenaise.com in april when they drop and uh, if you have any questions or anything give us a call make sure you like it and subscribe to our youtube channel we're going to have a lot more optics reviews coming out soon